Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have number one of a new unit. Uh, we're calling the unit Algebra 2. It's all about inequalities. So we are going to start off with how we represent them and move into doing algebra with them, moving things around the inequality sign instead of the equal sign. Let's get into it. We're going to write inequalities when given a graph or a number line here. So the blue part of the line represents um, the good part, the part that we want to represent. Uh, and if there is a full dot on the line, we are going to include it. So we are going to uh, have our equal sign as well. In this case, we have, um, we want x to be less than 1. Everything that is being covered is less than 1. So it's less than 1, and then the, the circle is solid, so it's or equal to. So less than or equal to 1 is what's represented in the first graph. In the second graph, we are have a, we have a point at negative 1, and the blue line points everything to the right of it. So that means with this one, x is going to be greater than negative 1, and it's a full, line, a full uh, circle, so it's equal to as well. For the next one, it is minus 6 and everything to the left. So x is going to be less than minus 6. And we do not include the equal sign because it is a uh, dot that is not filled in. You can probably see it better on your paper, but that is a hollow dot. So we do not include 6. It is less than 6, but not equal to it. Let's now switch to drawing the graph on the number line. So. I'm going to draw mine very crudely, okay? But you are going to do better. In this one, we are going to be less than or equal to minus one. So if this is zero, like this is two, and this is minus two, you get the idea. We are going to be representing uh, negative one and less than that, and we're going to include it. So it's a dot that is uh, complete, it is filled in, and it moves along this way. So the first one, b, is less than or equal to negative 1 is represented in this graph right here. We can do the next one, where b is greater than 6. OK, so if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK, this will be 2, and this is minus 2. You get the idea. This one is representing 6 and above. So it has to be 6 and above. Actually, it cannot be 6, right? It is greater than 6, but not equal to it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's right here. So we have a open hollow dot, and the line moves that way. It is everything more than 6 should be represented, but not including 6. And our last one, n is greater than minus 1. Okay, so let's draw our number line. We have 0. This is 2. This is minus 2 again. n is representing everything greater than minus 1. Okay, but not minus 1 included. So we're going to have a circular dot at minus 1, and it's everything greater than it. It's going that way. So this is how we represent and how we understand inequalities. When the value is greater than or equal to, we use the um, solid dot, and it's to the right. When it's less than or equal to, it's a solid dot, and to the left. And we follow that pattern. Uh, if you guys have questions, definitely let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.